All right, so first of all, I'd like to give a disclaimer about this case. It's uh, hypothermia. I have not read the autopsy report, so therefore I cannot say exactly why they called it that, but I can talk about generalizations of how a diagnosis of hypothermia is made. Hypothermia in forensics is based heavily on the condition of the body, the circumstances surrounding the death. Most important is, of course, the environmental temperature. Um, was the body found outside during winter? Was the body even found inside and the heater went out? So just in general with hypothermia, if a body is found outside, there are some things that are described in textbooks and in the literature, one of which would be paradoxical undressing, and that is where people, uh, even though it it's very cold, they take their clothes off. Uh, also would be what's called terminal burrowing, where they actually will dig into um, a hedge line or a snowbank or something like that. Now, if those things aren't found, then you have to look at the autopsy itself. You have to look at the body itself. So as far as physical findings go, there aren't a ton of physical findings that uh, an autopsy pathologist can look at the body and say, aha, this is hypothermia, but there are a couple. Most characteristic would be something called Wishnewski spots, and these are little dark spots that are found inside the stomachs of those who have died of hypothermia. Next, and this isn't um, really a solid reason, but sometimes you'll see uh, very pink liver mortis. Okay, liver mortis is the settling of blood and, um, you know, due to gravity. Normally it's a purplish pink color, but uh, in the case of hypothermia uh, victims, it can be bright pink. The reason has to do with the oxygen dissociation curve, but that's a completely separate lecture. I'm not gonna get into that. And so all those things being said, then you have to look for other causes. So in other words, are there any acute natural deaths such as a heart attack, such as a stroke, um, you know, such as an aortic dissection? Could there be a sign of accidents on something like electrocution or could there be foul play? So if all of those things are ruled out, and the context looks good for hypothermia, then you can make the diagnosis of hypothermia. The manner of death in hypothermia is an accident. And that's, of course, because no one intends to die from hypothermia. Uh, and, of course, it's not uh, related to a natural disease. So all that being said, I can't really say without looking at the autopsy report, but those are my assessments, uh, you know, just based on what you've told me. I hope this helps a little.